What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So we got your favorite type of video. We're going to open up lockboxes and hopefully make a lot of gold. So before we dive into this, big thank you for all the support on the VIP Discord lately. It's been absolutely insane. If you don't know what the VIP Discord is, it's pretty much like a Patreon where you support me as a content creator, but you also get access to a lot of exclusive stuff. Like you get to watch all of these YouTube videos before they go live on YouTube. So you get that benefit whenever we're talking about a specific market or a specific gold farm but you also get access to exclusive gold making tips spreadsheets even war within investments and much more so that's going to be linked in the description together with the zero to 10 million gold guide which you can get for 50 percent off using discount code student it's been out for over four years now and it's been updated ever since so it features the best ways and methods that i personally use in order to achieve multiple goal caps and it comes with a lifetime of free updates so whenever there's a new patch or a new expansion like the war within i just update the guide with the best ways to make gold in that expansion or patch and i send it directly to your email completely for free so make sure to check that out with the link down below in the description now the way that i do this is that i pop open my loot appraiser and then I start opening up these boxes and I just pray that I will get something of interest. Uh, I think the last lockbox opening that I had was relatively bad. But I was on a hot streak before that where I got a bunch of uh, really good items. So we're going to go over some of the most common questions in these uh, lockbox uh, videos. And that is firstly... Like, how did I get all of these lockboxes? And it's the same boring answer every single time. I don't do a specific gold farm where I get a bunch of lockboxes. So whenever I'm low on lockboxes, I go and farm uh, lockboxes. That's not the case. It's just uh, something that I happen to get uh, while doing my other gold farm. So I never aim specifically for a farm where I get a bunch of lockboxes. I always farm for something else, and the farm just happens to give me lockboxes. That's also why I got like a big variety of uh, different lockboxes in the bags right here. Uh, even though there is certain... Ooh, Speed Steel Rapier is a good one. as a unique weapon, decent sell rate. Uh, but there is specific gold farms that will give you more lockboxes than other... Like doing Black Rock Mountain or uh, like the cave in the Thousand Needles with the Den Wampers. But yeah, I don't specifically farm for uh, lockboxes. The second one is uh, the uh, add-on that allows me to uh, automatically vendor everything that's bad. So the add-on is called Scrap Junk Seller, and you can make yourself a hotkey to mark these items. Like you can see this, uh, this headpiece right here gets the golden coin on and off. Now, every item that you mark with the golden coin is items that you consider to be bad and you never want to keep them. So you can just go to the vendor and you can just click this sell junk and it's automatically going to sell every item that you have marked. And once you have marked it, it will forever be marked. So it is insanely good when you're dealing with transmog farming. It really, really saves you a lot of time, uh, a lot of time uh, with the scrap add-on. So, so far, we've got a couple of sellable items. We're going to take a closer look uh, at those uh, whenever we're done with, um, with the opening right here. But the accelerate in these boots are so good, like insanely high. It's a unique item. This is an item that a lot of people would post if they were just starting out with gold making. Because this is a great seller. It's a unique item. It's definitely going to sell, but it's only 200 gold. So I can't be ours to keep it. Uh, these right here, it's the same thing. Insane, uh, insane sell rate on these. So usually I don't mark them as trash. These items that are unique with low value but insane sell rate, because they might just jump up in uh, in value again. So the next time I get them, I look at the value to see if it's gone up, and if it's gone up, then I'm gonna sell it. But right now, the price on those were uh, were pretty bad. This one of the fist weapon as well is too easy to obtain, but uh, Celerate is really good. I like the Slitter's Shell. I got a lot of barnacle boxes uh, from uh, farming in Nasiatar, and there's a lot of good loot, a lot of uh, unique items in the loot table of that, like these as well. None on the auction house up right now. So that's uh, considered a decent one. Yeah, we're going to keep that too. So it looks like we might be saved by barnacle boxes this time. Oof, that's a bad price on this one. 
uh, most items in it's kind of like Seraph Mortis where the majority of the items uh, from Nasiotar are going to have a unique appearance just like uh, Seraph Mortis. I got too many of these. I only post three of each item. So like this one as well, it's a good item, but I already have three on the auction house, so I'm not going to keep uh, a fourth one. Let's see. Still got a couple of barnacle boxes left. That's good. I need some of those items still. I'm not getting the best ones though. There's obviously going to be items uh, better than others from those as well. These shit price. We're not going to keep those. Wave crash boots. They're also the shit price, but I usually sell those. So I'm not going to mark them. Just going to manually like delete them like this. And these. Uh, we'll keep those. But they're not super exciting though. Like I'm after exciting stuff in these openings. I'm not after like items that are like, yeah, I could probably go around and sell these. Like we need the big loot. Like that's also horrible price on that. Well, now we're uh, about to finish off these barnacle boxes. So we've got some of the uh, the more good stuff in these uh, old school boxes. And hopefully, usually when you make big gold with lock boxes, you get like an epic or a blue, maybe a blue item. There's a lot of bad blues in lock boxes. But patterns and like recipes, plants, etc., they tend to make you a lot of gold. So, uh... I, I've always thought that it was, it's worth it to open up lockboxes. I've opened up like probably 100,000 lockboxes over the years. And uh, it's always worth to take the time to open up lockboxes. Because the average price that you get, like the average value of a lockbox is much higher than most people uh, believe it is. You just need like a, a big sample. If you open up 50 lockboxes, you might not make any gold. But if you open up 500 lockboxes... 5,000 lockboxes, that's when you really see how much gold you can expect to get. Tissel T, I sold all of these now. Like the last opening I did, you can see I sold nine of these recently. Lowest price 4.2k, highest price 15.6. They always tend to do well. It's an item that was uh, that returned to the game in patch 1017, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a lot of people who don't have it yet and uh, they want to collect everything. Let's see. Only a few left. There was once again. God damn. This is uh there's nothing to brag about really when I've ended all of this. Like most of the items that I'm keeping, I'm keeping them because uh they're unique items from Nasitar and I've uh, I've done well on those, but there's a, a lot of like mediocre items that I, I don't really care about in this one. Yeah, I guess the best item that I got was the Speed Seal Rapier, followed by the, uh, well, depends on how much I sell this staff for, right? Uh, this one has an average sell price of 6.1. But uh, yeah, that was this opening. Hopefully, the uh, the next opening is going to be even better. So if you enjoyed these lockbox openings, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or press that thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the VIP Discord together with the 0 to 10 million gold guide in the description below. And I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.